Hello, my name is Raymond Worlow, and when you go north, I have Lyme disease, and, and uh, certain doctors I talk to, I say I have Lyme disease, and down here in the south, certain doctors I talk to say I'm a, I have a spastic paraparesis. God knows what I have. The only thing I know is my legs are swollen and I can't walk. I take cannabis and boom, I can stand. Many years ago, I was I was sitting in the hospital, but my mom was just having had a mastectomy done, with, 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 had 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 one of her breasts removed, and and. At the time, I was like everybody, every other person my age. We saw the commercial on the TV that showed the eggs. We said, "This is your brain," and then it threw the eggs in the fry pan and it said, "This is your brain on drugs." And me, like everybody else, I believed in the lies the government was feeding us. And then my mom had this mastectomy, and 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 for some reason, I was just on YouTube and and I typed in "cancer and cure," and I found this movie called "Run from the Cure" by a fellow named Rick Simpson. Heck, I'm on Medicare. I'm Lyme disease. I Medicare. I don't make a whole heck of a lot of mo money uh, a month, and I can't afford to buy the the pound that Rick Simpson needed to to, to make this oil to cure my mom. And then one day I was on YouTube again, and I just removed the word cancer for for some reason. I don't know why. I just removed the word cancer from uh, my searches. I just said cannabis cure, and boom, up come shown this video, I watched the video over and over and over. I think I drove my wife crazy watching the video over. And 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 I went to I kept telling Shauna over and over again I was gonna try it and, and for some reason I never did and then just one day my legs legs were just getting real bad. I had blisters and, and, and stuff you see the pictures I had blisters and stuff all over my legs and and, and I was just looking for a cure for myself because I was just tired of hurting. And I really didn't want to get drunk because when you get drunk, you drink. Yeah, you get drunk and the pain goes away, but then it comes back and you and you hurt worse. You're hungover the next morning and, uh, I'm just tired of all that stuff. Heck, heck when I was young, I would get high and, and the next morning I was up and raring to go to school. I wasn't hungover. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, if you, if just one, one or two shots of, of, of whiskey or any kind of alcohol the next morning you're so hungover, it's ridiculous. Knowledge is power. And when you decide to take your life into your own hands um, and realize that you can do this uh, with a $50 machine, a $5 spatula, and a plant that you can grow for free in your backyard, you can do this. And it's awesome. The U.S. government says cannabis has no medical properties, but look at what smoking cannabis does for Greg Cooper. Uh, I, I, I have sclerosis. Hold on, go away. When we first met Greg, his shaking was so severe, he informed us that he would need a few puffs of marijuana in order to participate in the interview. The difference was night and day. I mean, just look at me. 
I said, not blatantly obvious that I have just enjoyed however many tokes. I look happy. It takes away my discomfort, let's call it. It does enhance my very being. The oil didn't just remove the cancer from Dave Triplett's nose, it cured Dave Triplett's cancer. It's completely gone now. This is cancer. This is cannabis oil. This is cancer on cannabis oil. Any questions? I'd have questions too if I was you. So here's my story. My name is Dave Triplett, and I cured my skin cancer using cannabis oil. Thank, Thank you, Shana. Thank you, Shana.